What's up everybody, my name is Morgan Woods and welcome to part two of Wedding Videography Essentials. Now in this video we are going to be going over the absolute essentials that I think you need for shooting your very first wedding video. By the way, if I seem more animated, it's because I'm excited of being in this new studio setting. We've got a new Aperture Light Dome 2, a new electric desk that goes up and down, and then we've got all this racking here for the equipment. And we've got the world's worst LED strips that just do that. So that's something we've got to fix. We've got a sofa in here. You, I'll give you a tour. I'll give you a whole, I'll give you a full office tour. <laughs> Okay, so the lens choice I have written down in my book is a 24 to 70 f 2.8. I think you could pull off an entire wedding day with just this one lens. I know I did, so I know you can. Unfortunately, I no longer have a 24 to 70. Stupidest decision I've ever made to get rid of that. So at some point, I am going to get the RF 24 to 70 f 2.8. Okay, when it comes to video, audio is potentially more important than video. So we want to make sure that we're getting audio audio correct. Now you could either go for a little fluffy microphone that sits on top of the camera or you can take a step up and go for the Rode Wireless Go mics. Now these are a pair of wireless microphones that you can hook up inside the brooms. The broom! The broom. Oh, the broom. You can hook the wireless mics up to the groom and you can shoot at the back of the wedding, get all of the audience and get the vows being said while you're filming at the back of the audience while the happy couple are saying their vows at the front. In times of, sorrow. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. For wedding videography, I would say buy the wireless mics before you buy the regular top of the camera mics. Now here's a couple of the obvious ones, spare SD cards and batteries. SD cards, I recommend taking about four of them if you're shooting in 4K. If you're shooting in 1080p, I would recommend two to three of them. Video consumes a way huger chunk of battery than photos do. So I would argue that maybe four to five to even six batteries will be required throughout the entirety of the day, especially if you're going from morning till afternoon night. Now, a lot of people will probably argue that this is not essential, but in my book, stabilization is 100% essential. If you don't have any form of stabilization and your wedding video turns out like, it turns out like a paranormal activity film or Cloverfield, I wanna see silky smooth shots when it comes to a wedding video. I don't wanna be seeing all this, whatever that is. Next on the list is a compact bag. We don't want to be carrying all this gear around all day in a massive bag. We want to make sure that our gear is compact, it is safe, and it is on us at all times, and nobody is going to have the potential to take it. I would recommend a bag about this size. It looks nice. It also has a lot of dividers inside it. So you can store your batteries and your SD cards in the top. This particular bag is only accessed underneath the straps, so nobody can unzip it while you're stood there with it on. Now, something else that you're going to want to keep on yourself at all times is either a notepad where you have everything written down, like times and schedules and things like that, or your iPad where you can do virtually the same thing. So you can have reminders pop up on this and let you know that you need to be in a certain place at a certain time. Let's not just talk about the essential Let's talk about some non-essential stuff. The non-essentials that people are going to try and throw at you and tell you that you need are things like drones. You do not need a drone for a wedding. I used a drone at a wedding once and that was literally for 30 seconds. Flew it up in the air, establishing shot of the venue, done. To be honest, it was not a deal breaker. It, nobody watched the wedding video and went, oh my God, the drone shots. They were more interested in the rest of the video where it was actually the couple on screen. So drones, completely non-essential. But you can definitely buy one to spice up the videos after a while. Next thing that's non-essential is a monitor. Do not let people tell you that a monitor is essential because it is literally, it's a, it's a premium product. Monitors are big, they're expensive, they just, they're gonna be awkward to run around with for a big 10 hour day. Another thing that I wouldn't consider essential but I would probably recommend further down the line is a second camera body. You can have a second camera body on a tripod at the back while you're running around with a gimbal. So I could see why a second camera would be useful and helpful, but in my eyes, it's not absolutely essential. So let's just recap what we've just gone over. Essential items are a 24 to 70 f 2.8, wireless mics, spare batteries, spare SD cards, a gimbal, 
or some form of stabilization and an iPad slash notepad. Let me know if you want to see that office tour video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff that you already love to do. I will see you in the next one. Sithy.